Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we'll look at normalize in Adobe Audition and exactly what it does. If you're enjoying these videos, do hit like on this one. Also remember to subscribe and ding the bell so you never miss another video from me. Uh, right here, I've got a jingle. Let's actually play it to you. Web Rock Radio. Unconventional music for unconventional listeners. That's one I created myself with the voice of Pete from Music Radio Creative. As you can see, it's a little bit low in the mix. Web Rock Radio. Picking up at minus 10 dB. So normalize, all it does is it takes the audio, takes the maximum of it, so the peak of the audio, wherever the, the highest part of the audio is, and it normalizes, it increases the volume to that point. Let me give you an example. Effects, amplitude and compression, normalize. It's very handy if you just want to make quiet audio a bit louder. And you can say normalize to 70% or 80% or 90% if you prefer. And if I do that, you'll see, boom, it's taking up 90% now. Web Rock Radio. It's a lot louder as well. You can also go back into that effect if you want under amplitude and compression, normalize, and you can say normalize to a dB level. So normalize to minus one dB is a common one. Click apply and off it goes. Really, really handy for that. There's lots of other stuff available in the normalize effect, but basically it just makes stuff louder without changing the sound of your audio. Uh, you've got normalize all channels equally. You want to do that if you've got stereo audio. And DC bias adjust is pretty handy if you have audio that looks like it's not centered uh, on the wave here. If it's like kind of, if the waveform is up here, you'd want to use DC bias adjust. But that's normalize in a nutshell. There are some great favorites for normalize in the favorites menu. I use these all the time. Normalize to my minus 3 dB or normalize to minus 0.1 dB. I usually use the minus 0.1 dB before I save and send something out. So it's maximized, but it's not going above zero. So it's not distorted and normalize is really, really handy, especially if you're working in Adobe Premiere Pro to make audio the loudest it can be. So you can then go ahead and put effects on, particularly when you're working in multi-track and you want effects to have an effect or impact on your dialogue, normalize it first before putting it in multi-track. And if you want to learn more about how to do all of this cool stuff, go and check out my courses. I've got audio production courses, podcast production course, a live streaming course as well, all at mrc.fm forward slash learn. Mm -hmm.